Good morning, New York traders. Pretty dull session considering what's been going on in the world here in Europe. The big mover was Euro Yen all the way back up to 79. Hundred hour, the 200 hour capped it. Now we're back at 34, but still uh, 135 points below the Asian low. We still like to sell this. Uh, core short is the way. And basically, you now want to sell into this sort of 60 to 90 region with the idea that 136.30 is going to hold. Euro dollar. It's done absolutely nothing in Europe. We had a low of 90, high of 35. Pretty boring in general. Dollar yen nipped up to 109.31. It's close to 100 points from the Asian low. Of course, short dollar yen looks to be the way. We're still risk off here, even though spoos. Uh, S&P's went up 110 handles, 115 handles from the lows. This is at the beginning of one of these big downdrafts. This is typical. There's big vicious moves both sides. You want to be the trend side, which is short. Kiwi, annoying. We sold some 90s. We're sitting here short. No real love there. Uh, we will be selling through the lows. Kiwi's been lagging massively. Not sure why, but just sort of lagging. Cable, we have a break trade coming up. 139.40. This may happen in the next uh, half hour or so. I feel like cable has some downside market is long sterling and as we said during these periods of massive volatility everyone is basically forced to square everything so the biggest position sizes are going to get squared up we feel like cable long is one of the bigger position sizes so it will get squared same thing goes with euro you want to just wait now 123.50. I mean, you could get sneaky and sell through 90 here, uh, but really 123.50 is going to be the puke, which will bleed into 123.35. So you just want to be on standby for that. See how that guy looks. Let's talk about dollar rand for a second. One thing we've learned from all this: the market is not short dollar rand. Dollar rand should be a lot higher. We still have these core longs on. I'm not sure how much longer we're going to survive this. Uh, we've traded basically 03 and a half, 17 and a half. If we make a new high and this market wakes up, we will be adding. Otherwise, we're going to give up on the dollar rand. 112, the figure. And let's quickly look at S&Ps. Just a crazy, crazy move. 25.30 the low, which is 10% from the highs. 4% move. 26.44. Who's your daddy? I haven't seen that in uh, 10 years. Anyway, the path of least resistance, if you believe, if you can believe it, is actually down. So try and work your way into core shorts. We sold some 35s this morning took them back. We're going to try and resell between 35 and 55. Uh, but you're really just short until we get back above 27.33. So it's quite hard to manage this on a risk reward basis. So we're trying to be more tactical here. See what we can come up with. Cross yen lower, risk off S&Ps, sell high ones, and break trade the cable. Good luck, guys. I'm going to get right back to this. See you guys tomorrow.